Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's Web Wiz video number 21, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now I remember when I first started teaching that if I wanted to keep on top of the latest resources and developments in maths, it was pretty tricky. Um, I used to get quite a lot through the TES Maths Forum, which is still absolutely excellent. Um, I used to get a fair bit through my LEA advisor, at kind of NQT meetings and that kind of stuff. And then it'd just be a case of kind of Googling, or if someone I know had been on a course, then maybe they'd bring back things. But it was pretty tricky. Now, however, there's been a massive influx in the last 12 months of maths blogs, and they are my number one stop for all things mathematical. So what I thought we'd do this week is just take you through some of my favorite favorite maths blogs and just give you a little taster of them and then maybe you can check some out if they take your fancy. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google Mr. Barton, which is uh, what I encourage both my mother and girlfriend to do about 50 times a day. If I give that a click, you come to my website and if we just go to teachers and we go to links to the best maths websites in the world, then if you haven't been um, on my website for a while, you might not have seen this. It's the best of the maths blogs. And what, I'm gonna, what I've done here is I've assembled about eight, I think eight or nine, of my favorite maths blogs. And I know I've probably missed a few classics, but hopefully if I have, you can, you can email me in with some suggestions. But I thought we'd just take a very quick look at some of these. So I've got them all open as tabs up here. So the first one's number loving. Now this had its uh, WebWiz video all to itself um, about a month or so back, because it's absolutely fantastic. Ran by Sharon and Laura, and it's just full of absolutely amazing ideas. Link resources sometimes and other resources all around the web nice and the uh, nice nice themes to the posts and I'd honestly you could spend a good couple of days on this it's absolutely classic if I just scroll you down here one that caught my eye here is number loving loves here are my top 10 teaching crushes the only thing I'm annoyed at here is I'm coming in at number two not too sure what's what's going on there but at least I've made the top 10 so there's number loving next one is this absolutely amazing one, Reflective Maths, uh, ran by uh, Dave Gale. And once again, it's full of amazing stuff. This, um, as a little teaser for what's coming, um, is where I discovered about thoughts and crosses, which I'm going to make a little prediction here at, uh, in February 2012 that they're going to be absolutely massive, thoughts and crosses. And I got them uh, here first off Mr. Gale. So we'll talk more about those in the next few weeks. So check that blog out. Uh, your next one is one of the all-time classics. Uh, the first maths blog I became aware of ran by the amazing Colleen Young, and it's always up to date with the latest stuff. If you want to know anything about World Maths Day, I come straight here. And she's always first with all the latest developments in maths technology and resources. An amazing blog, amazing blog. Your next one is um, Great Maths Teaching Ideas, and it's run by that man there, Mr. William Emony. Um, and once again, full of brilliant ideas brilliant resources all completely free that's that's the best thing about these blogs and um, some great stuff there on quadratic equations and again just just a fascinating read why is happiness so important in your classroom brilliant uh, your next one's a new one uh, Douglas Butler the man be the uh, the guru of autograph has got his own blog up and running there with some lovely links to autograph resources and all things uh, technological so please check that out really really good stuff if you want to learn how to use autograph and also uh, get little tips about graphics tablets and that that kind of thing. Then we've got another uh, fairly new one to me, um, and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I don't know how I've survived without it. It's Mr. Collins' Reflective Journal. Now, uh, Paul Collins is a GTP student, and he keeps up, to the, uh, keeps on top of this blog, which is another thing that amazes me about these blog writers that are so dedicated to it. Just full of br absolute brilliant ideas. And this one that uh, just popped up a couple of days ago, Maths DJing. And what Mr. Collins has done is he's put together a load of clips from songs involving numbers that he uses for mental maths starters brilliant 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 stuff so check that out and the list continues we then go to emaths one of the inspirations one of the main reasons i, I put together my website in the first place was having seen how amazing emaths was and uh, mark mccourt who runs it he writes so well he's, he's got a book out and another book on its way and he writes on fun issues and also all the serious issues so if you want to know uh, his thoughts on national curriculum reviews or bullying or models for schooling and stuff check it out really really well written informed blog post there Last couple here, we've got Median by uh, Don Stewart. Again, just for a new, completely new one to me. This was a recommendation and full of just amazing resources, nicely tagged down the right-hand side as well so you can search by topic. 
And finally, the last one that I want to draw your attention to is this one. Mathy, Mathy Minutes, I think is the best way to say this. And again, fantastic resources. And this has actually got embedded into it lots of autograph activities, autograph player files, which you don't actually need autograph to use. And I'm, I'm developing a few of these myself, and we'll talk more about these in a future WebWiz video. But if you want to get ahead of the game, then check this out. And this one's particularly good, this blog, because it's got quite a lot of A-level and further math stuff on there as well. So are your maths blogs they're my favorites as i say i'm sure i've missed some so please let me know and i can add them to this list but um I'd recommend if you're looking for some kind of professional development and, and to keep on top of the resources, no need to book on all these dead expensive courses and stuff, just, just go and have a look on some of these blogs because there's people at the absolute top of the game kindly sharing some amazing stuff around. Um, the final thing I'll say before I leave you is just a kind of little shout out here that if um, uh, quite a few of you I know follow me on my at Mr Barton Maths Twitter account, but I'll be tweeting loads of math stuff over the next few weeks from uh, my at Tez Maths account. So if you've not, if you don't follow me on Twitter, if I just go to my uh, my little page on Tez here, if you don't follow at Tez Maths on Twitter, uh, you'll get loads of new stuff there if you want to come and. Uh, come and join the crew on there so that's at tesmaths at twitter and i'll be back with a fresh webwiz video next week bye for now